Okay, so welcome back to some more Weebly Drag and Drop Builder. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go with the Weebly Drag and Drop Builder. And today I'm going to show you about creating a photo gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new page called Photos. All right, so you see here my new page, Photos. And you can see here that we have nothing here yet. In the drag and drop builder, you have several sections here. Um, revenue is really only if you've purchased an e-commerce. Uh, multimedia is where you're going to find things like slideshows, uh, videos, so under the photo gallery, see photo gallery here, I'm just going to hold my mouse over it and drag that down. You'll see I can upload multiple images. Alrighty, so I'm just going to uh, put a couple images in there. Let's see here. all the way to the end. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to upload three photos here. And you see it'll automatically make them all the same size and it will put them in a gallery like format. Um, if I had more images it would make a second row here. And that's really super simple. You just drag the photo ele gallery element down, uh, you click the button and you upload the photos that you want. The system automatically sizes them and puts them in even rows. Okay, so now that I have my photos uploaded, I can click anywhere on any of these photos and it will bring up the uh, formatting section. You notice that I have the option to add a link to any of those photos so that I can link them to, um, let's say I'm selling something on eBay and I want to advertise them here, I could link them directly to my auction on eBay. Um, you'll notice that I can also add a caption. So if I want to describe what's on the photo, no problem, just add caption. Okay. Uh, if I want to delete the photo, I can go ahead and do that. Uh, I can go up here and I can choose how many columns. So each of these photo systems is in a column. I can change it to two. Uh, since there's now more room, the photos will be larger. I can choose five. Photos will be smaller because they all have to fit on the page. I can tell it how much spacing I want between each photo. And I can tell if I want a border, so a thick border, no border. And I can tell it if I want them squares or rectangles. So each of these images, pretty super simple. I just dragged and dropped the photo gallery element down, clicked the upload button, selected the photos from my computer that I wanted to upload. Uh, if I didn't find all the pictures, I can always click Upload New Images. The system lets me go through my computer and select new images to upload, and it'll just add those photos in. I can customize how the photos are laid out, and I can say how, you know, if I want another row of photos. So let me show you real quick. So I've got two rows. You see how close they are together? I can say how much space I want up here and down here. So if I have a photo gallery on a page and then I have a paragraph of text below it, 
or and or above it, I can add some extra spacing between the photo gallery and all the text. Alright, thank you and join me next time for some more drag and drop.